Welcome back to the channel folks. This is daily update for Excel stock. I'm releasing video every day and this is a continuation of what we discussed yesterday that how the stock had a pump at the last minute before the market closed. Now, as I said yesterday, the stock is going to come down because there's not enough there to sustain that level. Okay. There's a lot of sellers are sitting here on the spy, supply level. It didn't even get to my supply level. It just started before that. It started selling. I was, I was hoping that it might get to 71 cents, but it started selling before that. And if you're new to the channel, supply is basically where a lot of sellers are sitting. Demand is where a lot of buyers are sitting. And these are the three immediate demand levels I have for February and January. And there's two of them for January. So again, the ob objective here is that if they come down here, and, and there's going to be buyers here. And if the, the orders kick in here, it's going to bounce the price back up. If it doesn't kick in and there's not a lot of buyers and more sellers are sitting here or short sellers are sitting here, then it could actually break this through and go down to 51 cents. With that being said, the technicals is very useful, but you have to combine them with fundamentals. So I want to show you guys two things today. One is the SEC filing they posted, which we're going to go through right now and see what it says. And then we're going to take a look at their cash flow and their you know, balance sheet. Because the uh, balance sheet I want to show you guys is very important to understand. Like if this company does go bankrupt, if you're owning the stocks, where do you stand there? So let's talk about the SEC filing first. The special meeting stockholders of Exela Technologies will be conducted virtually at virtualstockholdermeeting.com, Exela 2023 SM at 9 a.m. on Tuesday, May 4, 2023. So they're holding a meeting, whoever owns the stock. What are they going to do in the meeting? To adopt an amendment for Exela Certificate Incorporation to affect a reverse split of Exela's outstanding common stock at a ratio in the range of 1 for 100 or, or, or one for 200. Wow. So they're not going for one third, one to 30 or one to 50. They're going for one for 100, which means they could take one stock and they could, they can make it hundred. Okay. Now the, why they do it, the reverse stock split is needed. If you want to trade your stock on NASDAQ exchange, you need to maintain a dollar. If you can't trade above a dollar, they're going to de de delist you, which means that you can't really trade on that. And you have to find another exchange that hosts like American exchange or something like that. With that being said, reverse split is not a bad thing. Uh, essentially, only the bad thing out of this is that if they make it, let's say, one for 100, if the stock is $1, they make it $100. Uh, if the stock going started going down from there, uh, you, essentially, that means this company is really not doing, great, uh, not doing too great, which means that even the uh, reverse stock split itself is considered bad in terms of that fund fundamentals are not helping the stock grow okay the second and the third are the continuation of the proposal so basically this meeting on may 4 2023 tuesday 9 a.m would be again again to get a vote on the water saying that we want to do a reverse stock split what do you guys think okay now let's look at the balance sheet and the income statement before we do that just please understand that the market cap for the company is 7.34 million okay it's not a very huge company eps is negative 15 which means they're not profitable at the moment earnings per share you're not making any money per share so if you buy a share of this this company you're losing $15 on the share so which means that you already started with a negative position so just understand that volume on average is traded about 151 the reason the the volume is so high is because it's because of us people you know retail investors are pretty much involved in this and this is why the volume is really high but note also that the 52 week range it could go to four cents okay it could go to $18, but it could also potentially go to $4. These are your main resistance and demand levels, okay? So $0.04 cents is possibility and $18 is also a possibility depending on which way the catalyst flow. All right, let's take a look at the financials balance sheet, okay? This is what I want to show you guys. Their total assets is one point, it's about $1 billion, okay? Now, even though it says $1,037,000, but you got to times it when $1,000 becomes $1 billion almost, liabilities are 1.7 billion you know what that means that your assets are not enough if you go bankrupt you won't even be able to pay up your your liabilities and you're in negative in your stockholders equity okay you, so liquidation is out of the question here if let's say you have 20,000 shares and you're looking for the company to grow to let's say whatever you know $30 $40 $20 please note that that if they do go bankrupt your money is gone as well unless I mean, I don't even know if you're a preferred stock and if they don't have any money left to give you, even the preferred stock really can't do much about that. So operating cash flow is negative 124 million. Again, every year they're not making money. If you see from 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022 is the continuation. They're not making any money. Investing cash flow is negative 22 million. Financing is 22 million, which is the stocks and all the warrants that they're giving out. It's 22 million that we're able to raise and they do have about 45 million 
dollar on hand and they got 51 million dollars uh, four days ago which puts them to about 96 million or so and again they're also a new catalyst that came out they said they are trying to save money around 60 million dollars or so which again are going to help them uh reach that goal they're trying to reach and survive another year or so if they don't raise cash please understand that cash is fundamental for every business now creditors can let you cash and have you know they can give you cash but at the end of the day they want money back they want interest payment back they were on the verge of missing an instant payment, uh, but they made the payment on the right time. They had 30-day grace period. They were on the verge of missing that interest payment because they don't have a lot of cash. How are they going to pay salaries? How are they going to pay expenses? So that was another catalyst that broke out. With that being said, now, you have to understand that these levels um, are, are only good if the company is progressing in a positive way. If they're not progressing, then I would say the fundamentals are going to be blown out of the water anyway. Downwards or upwards, either way, you know, if there's a if there's a fake ma manipulation by the smart money and they're pumping the stock just so retail investors can be fooled and they get in there and then they end up, you know, stuck with the stock because, you know, they end up catching a wrong momentum. So you have to be very smart with this, uh, with this stock. I'm trading the stock. I'm not invested in the company because financially and their balance sheet and everything else, it just looks to me that you know they they have a way to go okay it may be another year to prove themselves but for now hey if you know if this stock is making money let's make that money so hope you guys are taking that as a, a personal advice not a financial advice so thank you for watching i'll talk to you guys in the next video